hello everyone so welcome back to the semiconductors so if you are first time to my channel so please consider subscribing so in this video we are going to learn some of the very important concepts regarding semiconductors so under that first is energy band gap so energy band gap which is represented by eg so as i have told you earlier so the amount of energy which is required to excite an electron from valence band to conduction band is called as energy band gap that is the electron should be given with the energy which is equal to the which is greater than eg in order to excite from valence band to conduction band that is in order to become free and ready for conduction so that is about energy band gap so what is this what is the value of energy band gap for germanium and silicon we have to know as these are the most widely used uh, semiconductors so at 0 degrees kelvin and at 300 degrees kelvin so at 0 degrees kelvin germanium will have 0.785 electron volt and 300 degrees it is 0. 72 electron volt similarly for silicon at 0 degrees kelvin the energy band gap is 1.21 electron volt and at 300 degrees kelvin it is 1.1 electron volts okay so if you observe here as temperature increases so when there is increase in temperature the energy band gap is going to be decreased so eg decreases that is eg is inversely proportional to the temperature so as temperature increases eg value decreases so this is at uh, two temperatures one is at 0 degrees kelvin which is called as absolute temperature and the other is 300 degrees kelvin which is called as room temperature so at these temperatures we can remember these two values but for all other temperatures we can calculate the energy band gap for germanium by using the formula so eg of t at any given temperature is given by 0.785 minus 2.2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 t so this is in electron volt similarly for silicon energy band gap at any temperature is given by 1.21 minus 3.6 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into t electron volt so by using these formulas when t is equal to 0 it becomes 0.785 when t is equal to 0 it becomes 1.21 similarly if you calculate at t is equal to 300 you'll get the values which is equal to 0.72 and 1.1 electron volt respectively so this by by using these two formulas you can find the energy band gap of germanium and silicon at any given temperature so this electron volt is the practical unit of energy so it is the practical unit of energy in the case of electronics so in electronics so electron volt is the practical unit so one electron volt is the energy gained by the electron in moving a potential difference of 1 volt so electron volt is kinetic energy gained by the electron is or the potential energy lost by the electron so generally it is represented by so half mv square is equal to the potential energy gained by the electron so velocity of the electron or fast moving electron is given by the formula v is equal to root of 2 qv by m so this v so generally we'll represent in order to differentiate so we'll represent like this so this is called as velocity of fast moving electron this is potential difference applied and m represents the mass of electron which is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg so mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 13 kg and q is charge of electron which is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb 
so by using this formula we can also find the velocity of the fast moving electron in a semiconductor so next we'll discuss about mobility of charge carriers so next we'll discuss about mobility so mobility is generally represented by mu so mobility is generally represented by mu if it is for uh, this mobility is for electrons we will represent it with mu n if the mobility is for holes we will represent it with mu p so basically what is mobility is mobility represents how fast the charge carriers the charge carriers that is electrons and holes so how fast the charge carriers are moving inside the semiconductor from one place to other so how the electrons and holes are moving from one place to other is represented by the term is called as mobility so mobility is generally defined as mobility is equal to drift velocity drift velocity divided by field intensity so that is vd by e so this is the formula so this is the definition and this is the formula so mobility always represents how fast the electrons and holes are moving from one place to another place and mobility is given by drift velocity by field intensity and the units of mobility are meter square per volt second or centimeter square per volt second so generally for germanium in the case of germanium so mu n by mu p is equal to 2.1 is to 1 and similarly for silicon mu n is to mu p is equal to 2.6 is to 1 so always mu n is greater than mu p so the electrons will move at a greater speeds when compared to holes in both germanium and silicon therefore the current given by the electrons since they are fast moving charged particles the current given by them will also be more when compared to the current given by the holes so generally uh, the values of mu n and mu p for germanium and silicon so for germanium and silicon are 3800 and for silicon it is 1300 and 500 cm square per old second and these values are at 300 degrees kelvin that is at room temperature so these values we have to remember so all the four values you have to remember so the next important point is mobility always decreases with increase in temperature non linearly so this decrease is also non linear in nature because m value will varies for germanium and silicon so for germanium this m value is 1.66 for electron and it is 2.33 for hole similarly for silicon m is equal to 2.5 for electron and it is 2.7 for hole so uh, for for germanium it varies with the mu is uh, inversely proportional to t power 1.66 t point 2.3 so it varies non linearly so always mobility as temperature increases mobility decreases okay so this is about mobility so next we'll discuss about einstein relationship so einstein relationship so according to einstein relationship dn by mu n is equal to dp by mu p is equal to kt by q is equal to vt which is equal to t degrees kelvin by 
so these last two values are very important so in this relation so this k k represents boltzmann constant so k represents boltzmann constant t represents temperature in degrees kelvin and q represents charge of electron so charge of electron so vt is called old equivalent old equivalent of temperature so old equivalent of temperature and uh, dn dn comma dp dn comma dp are called as diffusion constants diffusion constants similarly mu n and mu p are called as mobility of electron and hole respectively okay so dn and dp <coughs> so dn and dp are called as diffusion constant so they are material constant and they are responsible for the property of diffusion in a semiconductor so the values of dn and and dp or so for germanium it is 99 and this is 47 and similarly for silicon it is 34 and 13 and the units are centimeter per second centimeter per second this is these values are at room temperature that is at 300 300 uh, Kelvin 300 degrees Kelvin that is D uh, similarly so VT is equal to T degrees Kelvin by 11,600 volt equivalent of temperature so at T is equal to 0 degrees that is at absolute 0 VT is equal to 0 similarly at 300 degrees Kelvin that is at room temperature VT is equal to 26 millivolts so this value you have to remember very important so vt is equal to 0 that is as temperature increases so vt also increases but uh, if the variation of temperature is very high the variation of vt is very less so vt is equal to 26 millivolts so uh, how we uh, how can we calculate these values of dn is dn is equal to mu n into vt so mu n into vt at, at a t is equal to 300 degrees kelvin vt value is 26 millivolts and we know that uh, uh, for germanium for germanium what is the value of uh, uh, mu n what is the value of mu n which we have already discussed is 3800 multiplied by 2.26 uh, millivolts so 26 into 10 to the power of minus 3 so if you calculate you will get around 99 so this is how we can calculate the values of dn and dp so it is better if you remember these values also okay so this is about einstein relationship